because it makes me really, really grateful that I moved away. <laughs> most of my life I lived in Vancouver then I just like remembered I moved away for a reason welcome back to another video I am currently in Vancouver the wind is kind of going crazy I'm staying with my parents the weather has actually been surprisingly way better than I thought it was gonna be if you know anything about Vancouver it definitely rains quite a bit hi making a video <laughs> We're also gonna go to Victoria. I'm gonna do that in a separate vlog, I think. I wanna keep this one more like focused to just hanging out and enjoying time at home. And I came back to a gift from my parents. They got me this microphone. This is the Sony ECM G1. This is an external microphone. And I actually found out about this from Miss Jenna Hong. If you guys follow her, she has the same camera that I have. And I was looking into external microphones and I was trying to consider if I wanted it, but I didn't wanna bite the bullet. And then my parents got it for me so I thought it'd be fun to do a little test. The wind has calmed down now which is good but you can still probably hear the background noise and stuff like that. I wanted to test this environment. Not that I vlog outside very often but because it's such a nice day and I'm just chilling out here. I already opened it but I didn't put it on yet. It's actually super small. I really like that you can just put it on top of the camera. There's an adapter that fits so you don't need to have like a wire or anything which kind of bothered me with the other ones. I felt like it would just kind of make it extra bulky but this one just sits on top. It's still adds a bit to the camera but it's not as noticeable as like the road mics which i was considering because they are cheaper it also comes with this wind muff so it'll be good because like i'm sitting outside i'm gonna put this on and then we'll do a little sound test all right so i just plugged it in this is my first time using it so i'm super excited to see or hear what it sounds like there's like some water that kind of passes next to our backyard so i feel like if you were hearing that before hopefully this will help it i did find that not using an external mic it was picking up a lot of background noises and stuff like that hopefully it works because i think jenna said this in her video too but like i just plugged it in there is some noise now by the way so or some wind you can see my hair is blowing so i'm hoping you can't hear it as much this will be a nice little addition to my vlogging setup like i was saying this vlog i think is just gonna be nice chill hang out with me and then the main reason i'm here is actually because my friend whose bachelor party i was just crashing is getting married that's gonna actually be in victoria i haven't been to victoria in years i'm really excited for that all that to say there's stuff coming up and i just want to take some time to relax i feel like the nice thing about coming home and visiting home is just relaxing and spending some time the family just enjoying the fact that there's a backyard honestly if you have access to a backyard or more greenery take advantage of it because living in a condo has taught me that i really do miss it i also just brought my laptop so i think i'm gonna sit out here enjoy the sun get some editing done <laughs> I'm feeling kind of tired. The rain started and I'm also about to get my period and I just like don't want to do anything. <laughs> very lazy, very mellow. I just want to sit down and chat a little bit. I'm also snacking on everything. We got a shitload of Asian snacks. I get them in Toronto as well, but like not as often. So these, if you know, you know, little seaweed packets. This was the shit. It still is low key. I've had about hundred sheets of seaweed. Literally the garbage is filled with seaweed packs. But anyways, it's kind of hard to find a spot to vlog here because one, it's really dark today. And I guess we're like facing whatever direction that the sun isn't coming in from. This is as good as it kind of gets. I wanted to talk about something that was kind of on my mind yesterday. I've mentioned here and there, but basically I'm originally from Vancouver, born and raised here, grew up here. I moved to Toronto in 2019. Since then, I've come back a few times. I guess this kind of goes out to any of you guys who have moved away from where you grew up. I'd just love to know like your thoughts and if you can relate, but not once since I've moved away have I felt like when I, I don't know why I'm holding seaweed. Not once since I've moved away, whenever I come back, have I felt like, oh my God, I'm so excited. I love this place. I wish I still lived here. I was literally saying this to my friend. I wish I felt the same way about Vancouver as Drake does about Toronto, which is 
a lot of passion and I don't know if anyone has as much passion for their hometown as Drake. I mean, probably there is, but I wish I felt that way. But then I just like remembered I moved away for a reason. The moral of this is to say that if you've ever thought about trying to live somewhere else, I 100%, 1000% stand by the experience and I feel like if you have the opportunity to, do it. A lot of you guys that watch my videos are like around my age just from the statistics that I look at. So this is your sign if you've ever Ever considered it and thought about it and wanted to there's never gonna be an easy time for the most part it's just one of those things that is probably gonna be challenging at times and I'm not saying that my move was absolutely seamless I've had some very scary <laughs> and traumatizing things from the moving part but it's been one of the best things I've ever done and coming back I think why I feel so weird about visiting is I was just such a different person and the things that I wanted to gain out of moving away was to become a better version of myself and I actually feel like I have. So I'm trying to like look at it in a more positive way because if I don't, then I immediately feel kind of triggered being home. I just like remember the things that I didn't like and all the reasons why I wanted to move away. One of them is the rain. I do think that a big aspect of it, actually no, let me backtrack even further, give you a bit more context in case this is helpful for anyone who's in this similar spot of leaving home, wherever that is. For most of my life growing up, I lived in Vancouver. I've lived in other places. By Vancouver, I mean greater Vancouver area. I've just like always known the area. I've always known the same circles of people. It was just always limited to this little pool. Granted, I don't know everyone. It's not that small here, but when you've gone to high school in the same place, you've gone to elementary school in a like similar area, everyone knows everyone or everyone knows someone who knows someone. That's gonna happen everywhere, but even more when you've only lived in one place. And that kind of always just felt very limiting for me. And I just felt like I would love to start fresh and start new, start somewhere that no one knows who I am. Even though I haven't really made the friendships that I was hoping to make, beyond that, I do feel like just being in a different space, not feeling confined to people that have known me for years or people that might have preconceived ideas of you. I think everyone can probably relate. Who you were five years ago is not who you are now. I'm definitely not. And I didn't know how to like become the version of myself that I wanted to be. I don't know how else to explain it. Job-wise, once I did graduate college, it became very clear that my career was only gonna go so far in Vancouver. I work in marketing, so a lot less opportunities here. I was even just talking to one of my old classmates. She was saying the same thing. Jobs are hard everywhere right now, especially. It's even harder when there's less opportunities and a lot of competition because like everyone wants to live here. That's another thing. Oftentimes, because I live in Toronto now, it's within Canada, so like most people have visited or know enough about Vancouver that they'll be like, why would you want to leave here? There's so many mountains, it's so beautiful. I'd love to live there one day. And I'm just like, I'm not gonna live in the mountains and I'm not gonna live on the beach, you know? Those are great things, but how often where you live right now do you go and visit the landmarks of where you live? Or how often do you actually go and do all the things that people say make this place amazing? You probably go do it once in a while. That's not what contributes to your everyday quality of life in my opinion. I'm also not a very outdoorsy person. Like I like to hike, which I do miss from here, but camping, not happening. Water activities, probably not happening. So to each their own. That was just my rationale as well because ultimately I wanted to be able to provide for myself and I wanted to be in an environment that would allow that. Those are just like reasons that kind of wandered my mind. All that basically led me to ask almost every person in my life in a very annoying way now that I look at it, basically asking everyone, should I do it? Should I move? Do you think this is a good opportunity? Do you think I should do it? What do you think? Like I'd ask everyone, but then I realized no one's gonna be the one doing it, you know, with you. Unless you're obviously with a partner or you're doing it with someone, then that's a bit different. But I'm talking about by yourself because that's a whole other thing that I didn't mention. I moved to Toronto by myself, 100% by myself. Did not have friends there. I knew people there, but I wasn't really friends with them before I moved. I got a place, I got a roommate by myself, moved all my shit, got a job by myself. I look back at it and in a way I'm like, okay, it's not that crazy because like people do it all the time. But for some people, like it is kind of scary. For me, I'm really glad that I just went and did that because if I didn't do it when I said I was going to, it would have just always been on my mind. And there wasn't a way for me to do it without doing everything by myself. And for some people, like the reality is you're gonna have to do some stuff by yourself 
yourself for yourself. It can seem scary to move to a different place that you never lived before. But what I always think is, am I gonna look back in five, 10 years and wonder what if I did that? Or wonder how my life could have been if I did that? Or just wonder about all the different things that could have happened if you'd made a different choice. You can do what you want in two years from now, but that's only gonna delay what you've already wanted to do right now. Granted, there are things that you might have to plan for, you might have to save for, and that's like a whole other conversation. But I think when you have the resources and you have the opportunity and you have the ability to make a choice for yourself, you just have to do it. I feel like I just went in a full circle kind of about what I was trying to get at. But all I'm really trying to say is I have a whole new perspective, I guess, when I come back because it makes me really, really grateful that I moved away, <laughs> which sounds kind of bad. But I'm also trying to appreciate just like being here, which I really do. One thing that I do feel obviously is the hardest is not being around any family. And also some of my closest friends are in Vancouver. That's just life. I mean, people move and people still keep in touch. It makes the time that you get together that much more special. And it doesn't mean that you can't have connections with people when they don't live in the same city as you. So just keep that in mind as well. Also, I forgot to mention, we have a turtle. <laughs> Hi, little guy. I named him Billy. He actually, I don't think has a name. It's a long story, but he's not my turtle. So his name is not Billy, but we're gonna call him Billy for the sake of argument. I like to pretend like we're friends. I don't think he likes people. I don't think turtles like people at all, actually. He lives his life, you know, enjoying the fake sun. When I lived here, I would always feel bad because I was like, he must get bored. You know what I mean? Just being a turtle all day and like not having anyone to talk. Bruh. Okay, like just not having anything to do or anyone to look at. But he he truly seems to be happy. I kind of wish I had his life. Say hi, Billy. some pho or something. It's actually not raining, so that's a plus, but it is kind of gloomy, you know? So I just have this little bomber jacket and yeah.